Hi there, and welcome to Catholicity with Mr. Norino at Home for Friday, January 7th, 2022. Today is our Jan Board Friday, and as such, we have an opportunity, if you click in the description below, to get to our Jan Board link and participate in our big idea question conversation of the day. And the question slash conversation of the day has to do with the gospel from today, which comes from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And I'm just going to paint a picture of what's going on here before I actually read the gospel. Um, Jesus, in his ministry, is going all over the countryside, and he's stopping in all these different towns, and he's healing a lot of people. And there are laws that are associated with um, people being uh, diseased, people being um, clean or unclean, and what you actually have to be able to do after you have been uh, healed or you become better on your own, or um, what clean and unclean mean in Jesus's times. We think of clean and unclean, maybe you were, you know, out in the bush and you're playing in the mud and you're, you're not clean. Um, that's part of it, but it also has to do with spiritual cleanliness. So that's going to come up in our in our jam board today. But the question itself is much, much bigger. So, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When Jesus saw, he bowed with his face. When Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him, and Jesus ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priest. And, as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So frequently, Jesus meets up with people who are blind or who can't speak or have ailments like um, maybe they are they have a leg that doesn't allow them to walk. In this case, a guy has leprosy. And if we know anything about leprosy, and I do know a little bit about leprosy, it is a very contagious disease that, if left untreated, can eat the limbs and the extremities from your body. Um, it is not pleasant to look at. And one of the diseases in the Bible where you have to live apart from everybody else and make sure that you it's your responsibility to let people know that you are unclean and you cover your mouth and you say unclean um, and they have to stay away from you and you can't go into the city and you can't you can't live in a tent inside the town it's it's um, it, it takes you completely out of biblical society in Jesus's day so Obviously, there's a physical aspect to that, and then there's a spiritual aspect to that. And as Jesus tells him, as Moses commanded, because Jesus is a Jewish guy and he believes in the law of Moses, go to the priest and make a sacrifice and you're going to be okay. But don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody, he said before. He can't say that now because everybody knows who he is and they know when he comes into town, it's like, Heal me, Jesus, heal me. So, you know, all these crowds are gathering and he withdraws and he goes to pray. So many different types of stories like this where Jesus is almost um, um, just blitzed by these people and he's got to do what he's got to do as much as he can just to, you know, keep his sanity and, and, and keep his, uh, his uh, strength about him and move on and be able to spread the word of God and heal the sick and on all of those things that Jesus is so good at. Big question for you. 
Who is Jesus? Literally, figuratively, spiritually, theologically, within your heart, within your mind, within the history textbooks, within the Gospels, within the epistles of Paul, who is Jesus? The Trinity God. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is with us always. That might help flavor our answer on the Jamboard. Who is Jesus? You could write a book. You could write not quite a full sentence. You could write a single word for who is Jesus. And that could spark as much conversation as a very, very specific aspect of the nature of Jesus, talking about his miracles or talking about um, his resurrection after the third day, um, his raising in, in physical form into heaven at Pentecost. Just stepping back and saying, who is Jesus? Knowing what we know as Catholic Christians. I want you to check that out. I want you to um, think about it. Really dig deep inside and say what you got to say about who Jesus is to you or to us or how you view Jesus in a whole society frame. Who is Jesus? We'll check back in on Monday with what you came up with. Thanks so much and have a wonderful weekend. You deserve it.